The addition of Mega Evolution was one of the most significant changes made in Generation 6, and overall they were very well received aside from some Pokemon is becoming Digimon comments. Megas made a huge splash on the competitive scene, and they continue to be relevant even though the Alola games really glossed over them. But personally, I have mixed feelings about them. So how about we talk about the highs and lows of Mega Evolution and what I wish was different about them. Every generation has introduced new mechanics to shake up the competitive scene, like new types, new battle formats like doubles and triples, and entirely new mechanics like abilities, Z-moves, and Mega Evolution. And on the competitive side, I think Mega Evolutions worked really well. It was an interesting way to deal with power creep and make older Pokemon relevant again, and it's something that you have to be really strategic in how you use or respond to it. But I only dabble in competitive Pokemon. I'm way more interested in it as a world and what you get through the main part of each game, so the fact that it's an interesting mechanic competitively isn't quite enough to sell me on it. There are a lot of designs that I really like. Mega Charizard Y I think is a huge improvement over Charizard. Charizard is a bit generic and a little pudgy, but Mega Charizard Y gives it a more imposing posture and bigger wings and a more unique look with the wings on the arms. Pidgeot is another one like that. The wing proportions are way better, and I think that the little details like the blue wing tips go a long way in making Pidgeot more interesting to look at. Mega Steelix also makes Steelix much more interesting to look at. It's not just an onyx covered in steel anymore. It's got colored crystals, it has these blue shapes that really look like Sheikah designs. The Ring of Debris is maybe a bit excessive, but I don't think it really detracts from the design. Gyarados, Mawile, Absol, all of those are fantastic Mega designs. And there are, of course, also some designs that I don't like quite as much. Like Mega Aerodactyl, which is basically just regular Aerodactyl, but pointier. And it does not look like it would be able to fly well with all of those stones on it. And that enormous rock goatee, like, not only does it look weird, but it would make eating really difficult. Like, how do we even get close enough to actually bite down? There's Latios and Latias, which basically have the same Mega. And I actually like the idea of this duo that represents opposites having a sort of convergent Mega evolution. But this? just does not work for me. It loses all of the charm and sleekness of Latios and Latias. Instead, it has this really weird, bulging, unbalanced aesthetic. Or Kangaskhan, which looks fine, I guess, but it makes no sense to me. But I'll get back to that in a bit, because the designs aren't the real problem. For one, I take issue with the concept of Mega Evolution. Temporary evolution doesn't really fit with the world building that Pokemon had done over the previous five generations. I mean, before Megas, the implication was that evolution was a natural progression, a sort of maturation process or metamorphosis that can't be reversed. Evolution can depend on a number of different factors, but they're mostly natural. You can find evolved Pokemon in the wild, they don't depend on trainers. For Megas, none of that is true. It does depend on trainers, and we're told that it only happens because of a strong bond between the Pokemon and the trainer. But that's not even implemented mechanically, so you can Mega Evolve a freshly caught Pokemon. I don't know why they didn't make Max Friendship a requirement for Mega Evolution. And then it only lasts for the battle, and that de-evolution is what makes the least sense to me. Did you know that Mega Evolution actually breaks Glali's jaw? So I guess at the end of the battle it just magically heals? Mega Kangaskhan is the weirdest one because Mega Evolution causes the baby to grow. You can see that the baby is more developed than the one that was in the pouch. So at the end of the battle, it's supposed to, what, ungrow? And the thing is, why couldn't Megas just be regular permanent evolutions, especially the ones in single or two stage lines? Mega Kangaskhan is going to be a bit weird no matter what, but why couldn't Houndoom evolve or Pinsir? Even Mewtwo having a split evolution line wouldn't be weird anymore in a world where Cosmog exists. It kind of makes me sad to think that now these Pokemon can't get regular evolutions anymore. Say you don't like a Pokemon, but you do like its Mega. Well, it'll always revert to the regular form, so if you want the Mega, you just have to put up with the regular. You'll never have a Mega Absol to follow you around or a Mega Pidgeot to fly around on. I get that if all Megas were introduced as proper evolutions instead, it would have been a problem for the three stage lines. Like, where would Mega Alakazam fit? And I think that split evolutions could have worked well. 
I mean, it would have been really unusual to introduce new split evolutions for starter Pokemon, but would it really have upset more people than the Megas did with all the Digimon comparisons? I don't think so. I imagine that the in-game lore could be that Megastones provide extra energy when a Pokemon evolves, allowing it to develop further than normal. So if you give a Charmeleon the Charizard at Y, when it evolves, it'll become Mega Charizard Y instead of the regular Charizard. And you know what? They could have allowed Pokemon to evolve during battle too. That would have been awesome. I know that it wouldn't have affected competitive strategy, but in-game, that would have been a wonderful mechanic. But that's it for me. I like many Mega Designs, but I really wish that they were true evolutions instead. But what about you? Do you agree with me, or do you actually like Megas as they are now? Let's have a chat in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like below, share this with a friend, and subscribe if you're new. It all helps me a lot. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Umbreon Libris, and I'll see you in the next chapter. John Green dethroning John Green. <laughs>